Hello YouTubers, you're back here with Chevron, and I'm going to be showcasing a deck build I've been working on, which is a Salaman Great Striker build, where I've, I'm running the typical Salaman Great deck, and I've pretty much just put in six Sky Striker um, cards in the main board, some in the side, and just the Kagari in the extra deck. So Kagari is just a fire type, so it does not disturb you from linking up with your, so using bay links and just another fire type to go into your sunlight wolf, which I will explain how to do that combo uh, with your open hand if you do open engage, but the Sky Striker engine has been making me win games where you would usually lose with a pure summon great build, so say you're running up against like a annoying monster in general like inspector border or you have an apollo in front of you you just engage search the widow anchor turn it off and then you can just make normal star great players after that or you say you're in mid game you top deck a uh engage it just turns the game around because you say engage for the hornet drones uh drawing you an extra card because i am playing a heavy spell charm base deck and you go onto your kigari adding back engage playing engage again search the widow anchor uh and then you just draw another card off that so you've just gone plus three cards for absolutely no cost and you most likely can just turn the game around then so yeah i don't want to spend too much time talking so let's get straight to it so let's start the main deck profile. I am playing three flame, bu um, flame buffalo. Uh, very amazing card in salads. Any build you play, uh, if it's pure or mixed, it's just a crazy card to play. Uh, being able to uh, make chain block the draw, discard a draw two off the um, bailings add is just crazy. It really helps you dig for more combo pieces or blowout cards to help you win the game. Uh, so yeah, I suggest always run three flame buffalo. It's just a really good card. Uh, one gazelle, three spinny, and three foxy. Uh, Foxy uh, spinning combo is just you want to run max out, run three three. It really helps force out the um, Mistalio play. Uh, so yeah, if you open Foxy spinny, normal summon Foxy, uh, go into your bay links and then you discard a spinny to special Foxy out, and then spinny can special summon himself out from his own effect, and you go Mistalio special summoning Gazelle from your deck if it's not already in your hand. So yeah, uh, just quick showing how to do that. Uh, you run, I run two Jack Jaguar. Uh, reason why I run two is just in case one gets banished. Um, mainly for, like, say, if your opponent's running Corbar Grave or DD Crows, uh, Jack Jaguar is the rotation of the deck. Uh, it will keep you going in the grind game and can potentially can just win you the game off itself, being able to keep going and shuffling back cards and just extending for more further plays. And Falco, uh, one Falco. So between Jack Jaguar and Falco, uh, for people who don't know, it's they pretty much have an infinite combo between the two, where, say, you special summon Jack from the grave, you can return it to hand, especially summon Falco from, uh, from your grave as well. And you could normal summon, go to link plays that way um, afterwards. Or like, and if you play rank 4s, you can do a rank 4 play. And when Falco hits the grave, you just set a summon great spell trap. And you can pretty much do that every turn. So yeah, that's a crazy play you have um, between the Falco and Jack Jaguar. Uh, CR Kravis, uh level 3, forces out um, uh, Mistalio to help get Gazelle out of the deck. Or just any key pieces you don't already have out. So, uh, one Lady Debug, it is a one card um, Salaman Great board. Um, I will have the description in the link below where I did a tutorial on how to open with salads using the same salad monsters I have in this deck. Uh, if you're new to salads, uh, I recommend checking it out. I think I did a pretty well job to teach new players um, uh, just to be able to get into this deck and really it can help you out and I don't cover over everything but a start's a start, and I, yeah, it's just there to try and help people out who are trying to get into this deck. I really do enjoy this deck, so I want other people to be able to enjoy it as well. Uh, three Sign Up Mining, uh, two Will of Summon Great. I would play three, but I'm very tight with uh, just room in general in the deck, so I ended up cutting one of the Wills. Uh, one Circle, one Sanctuary. Uh, so with this, I play three um, Cosmic Cyclone. It's pretty much the same as I've always explained it in my previous videos. Um, with just a combo deck like Salads, you can usually push through ash, Ashes and say if you do the um, Flame Buffalo and uh, Bailings play, they really, Ash is just trading one for zero. So they're using one card to stop you from getting a free card from your deck. And you're still getting your discard to draw two. So you're still going off in a way where if you're versing a deck that's playing floodgates floodgates can turn off salads altogether for the rest of the game if you can't find an out to it so this is where i always main cosmic cycling for those reasons and it is very good baits too uh the mirror match you can bait the roar out uh, or rage or say if you're versing orcish you just bait the crescendo uh allowing you to just 
go free of plays without having to worry about dis um, disruption. So that's really good uh, with the Cyclone there. I play three Super Poly, so this is we're starting to go into my big black cards now, which really th these are these these cards is what makes my games easy, makes my life easy uh, that you're about to see. So Super Poly, I'll show my targets later on, but uh, this card has just been a defined factor on how I win my games, especially against combo. I just don't care once I see Poly and I end up as soon as you hit Storm for Poly, you should just win off it and. With a deck like Salads, uh, you ne make them neg so hard that your advantage is so big and you just end up winning off it. So yeah, uh, Polly is in my main board for that reason. And now for this uh, weird tech uh, for this deck is the Sky Striker lineup. So I play six of them. Um, so there's many games where I should not have been able to win, but I win because I play this in the deck. Uh, it's, it's not, like, from a person's point of view, being able to spy Sky Strikers in pretty much any deck that could run sh engage because you play enough spells is quite unfair. Well, we a lot of people already know that, but being I reckon being a f it's it's not on the ban list yet. Like we still have Hornet drones. It's, it's, it's this card's the problem here. As long as this card is not banned, Sky Strikers are always going to be able to be spashable. And yeah, I found a way to. It's the deck I've been working on, and I've found a way to play strikers in salads and it's really made a difference in my games so say my opponent's running like inspect the board and they open a border field uh, there's many games i've just gone engaged for the widow anchor uh just negating the inspector borders effects and just going off that way because i don't have to worry about it anymore and then there's games where our top deck engage in midway of the game um so like we're in mid game heading into end game or like just the grind game er um, area and I top deck engage, and I, I'm because I play a high, like high spell based deck already. I most like if I get to a grind game, I will most likely have the three spells to meet engages um draw uh draw one. So yeah, I get like say play engage, get the hornet drones, draw one, play hornet drones, go into Kagari, get engaged back, play engage again, say get shark hand or widow anchor, and draw one again. So I've gone like I don't know plus how many cards, and just by top decking engage and. There was a game where I was playing in playing against an Orcus deck, and I top deck engage, and it was just game over. Like I went plus so many times in that one turn that the the gap in card advantage was so big that he just couldn't keep up after that. So yeah, uh, the fact that I've been playing this with Salads feels weird, but the fact that I made it work and it's been working with me so far, so it feels. Great, because I like playing Sky Strikers and I like playing Salads, so I've kind of just, I wanted to make it work and I've been playtesting and yeah, it seems to be doing alright. So to the traps, I play one Raw and one Rage. I don't play Potted Desires, so I'm not really fussed about not running, running the second copy of Raw, uh, because I'm not uh, too worried about banishing it off my own effects. And I usually always go into the second Sunlight Wolf to set it or use the Falco, so I don't have to banish the Raw off his own effect either. And for uh, more black potential in the deck, I do main board the Evenly Match. This has won me a lot of games as well, especially since um, even if it is a dead card, I'm going first. I have a lot of discard potential to make it worthwhile in the main board, so like, Say if I go first, I have Super Poly in hand, that's what I'm discarding. If I open Sign of Mining with it, that's what I'm discarding. But if I'm going second, I will more, I'm pretty much always going to be going to Battle Phase to activate this thing. Because I've just made my opponent, I've made opponents make neg so hard off evenly matched that they may as well scoop off the first evenly matched. Because after I make the, my, the rest of my play, my board is so big that, yeah, there's not much they can do about that. So yeah, uh, evenly matched. Has, it's always been a tricky card. Uh, if you open two, it it could be a pretty hard brick. But um, usually I can play around it. But yeah, uh, it's just been a great card. I've liked it in the main board. Same with super polys. I like playing. Uh, so if you haven't noticed, I am not playing hand traps because I just believe in running just the big. If you run the big blowout cards in the main board. It should be big enough to win you the game if you see them, and it's it's different because like say if you have our main board Ash instead, you negate one card. It's usually a card that you're trading one for zero anyway. 
and or one for one where evenly match or super poly you can really go for like a two for three trade or evenly match for say it goes one for four trade which is just crazy and banishing face down does hurt a lot of decks you hit this against orcus it's going to hurt them you hit this against sky strikers it's going to hurt them a lot so yeah uh Many reasons why I main board evenly match. Many reasons why I main super poly. I just think they're great cards. If I have to cut them, I cut them uh, in the side when I go to side. So, but yeah, apart from that, it's just been great. Uh, for the extra deck, my super poly targets are uh, Starving Venom, uh, Drag Drago St Step Stepella, <laughs> sorry, and then one um, Violet Chimera. Uh, so with the Violet Chimera, for people who don't know, the requirements is uh, one Salamander Great Monster and one Link Monster. So it's pretty much a generic out to... So, Super Poly can use monsters from, from other side of the field. So, against, like, a lot of decks that have, like, big link mo boss monsters, it's a generic out to any of them. You can hit um, Apollo, you can hit uh, Avramax, you can hit uh, Boral Sword with it. So, it stops a lot. Uh, with this one, it hits Pendulums and Thunder Dragons. So, uh, Thunder Dragons can be a rough matchup, so can Pendulums, but... If they open the vault, if they try to open vortex with any dark monster, you just make them neg pretty hard, and you just end up winning off that. And for your double dark, because dark's very common in the meta right now, uh, so starving venom always has these plays as their super poly target. So yeah, that's my three super poly targets there. Uh, one with uh, Mistalio, yeah, for for just making you crazy uh, ranked, uh, like getting it. It just starts up your Salamander Great Engine pretty much. Um, I run out one because I usually just shuffle it back off the Jack Dragon if I ever need to go into it again. But usually you only need to go into it um, just once and it'll be enough for you. Uh, two Heat Leos. Uh, I've, rare, I've hit down a lot of back row decks with Heat Leo. But a bit linking into himself and making your opponent neg two back row cards can be really big. Or just using it to bait out back row cards if you're already ahead can really make you just win the game. Helio has always had its place, and because I run Violet Chimera, I can OTK as well, which I have done before. Uh, the Kagari for the, um, yeah, <laughs> the engage play. Uh, one Phoenix, uh, I hate back row. Uh, Borolo Dragon, this outs just boss monsters. Yeah, I've gone into Borolo more than any other card in this extra deck, apart from <laughs> your, yeah, Sunlight Wolf and Bailings, but... The amount of times I've gone into Borrelow Dragon just to win the game has been insane. Uh, always over the Borrel Sword because you don't need Borrel Sword in this type of um, deck style. But Borrelow gets you out of places where you should not be able to get out of. So it's always a, it's always got its place in this deck. Uh, so the three Silent Wolf and three Bailings. So yeah, uh, that's the uh, extra deck. So we'll go to the um, the side deck I've been currently running. Uh, three Artifact Lands here. Uh, Orcus. There's a lot of them. <laughs> Not said for my matter, honestly. Uh, three Nibiru. There's combo everywhere where I'm playing, so uh, Nibiru really helps me just slow them down. Uh, so I usually double up with Super Poly Zen Nibiru after side when I'm versing combo, and that should be more than enough to win the game uh, just off those six cards. Uh, DD Crow can hit the mirror match pretty hard. You pinch a gazelle or pinch any key card that they're trying to like use, you can really um, slow them down. Against Sky Strikers, hit the engage, they kind of side off that. Or hit the ray, if, um, then they have no defense power once the ray's gone. <clears throat> and say, like, against, like, Orcus, if they're trying to revive Dingrisu off the skeleton, you just hit the Dingrisu and they're gone after that. Three Twin Twisters. Twin Twisters have been amazing for me off the side, especially against, like, Sky Strikers or those random ba uh, uh, rogue back row decks. Uh, it helps you with uh, True Draco, it helps you with um, Subterra. Uh, what else is there? Uh, Strikers is the big one. Um, I've Twin Twisted Strikers. Uh, it's, it's the main card I side in against Strikers, usually DD Crow and the Twin Twisters. And uh, you pinch their um, back row enough and it's ma make plays afterwards. Usually there's not much they can do after that and you can take over the game with the Twin Twisters. So yeah, uh, always has its place in my uh, side deck for uh, Salaman Greats. And then, <laughs> a weird side, but one Jamming Ways, one Afterburner, one Shark Cannon. Uh, so with the second shark cannon, this can really help you against um the mirror match or say Orcus being able to pinch more cards out of their grave so they can't play at all, and you can use it for your own link climbing, which will really help you open like ball load dragon plays and just pushing for win that way. Uh, afterburners. Uh, so these two are more for 
Uh, so say if the shark cannon in the main board doesn't really do anything, I can side it out, uh, bring in afterburners. I say pendulums, I'll probably bring in afterburners, try and bait out more negates. And against jamming waves, you can just bring it in against like more back row decks. So take out the shark cannon, bring in jamming waves, just help um, clear back row before you make it, yeah, open players. So yeah, um, I'll quickly go into how you can open with this deck. I won't, I, I won't do too much, I'll quickly get them out. So say if you have uh engage in hand i'll move these out now and there's another card so we'll be searching sanctuary i'll get i'll just get the two main cards out we get these two so say we make our players here we go normal summon foxy uh link into your bay links our bay links get your sanctuary and then uh you don't use the discard now uh, what you can do is engage, use engage now, uh, go searching for your Hornet drones, play Hornet drones, and then you can link into your Kagari off that. And what that, what uh, Kagari does, uh, doesn't have to, so she, she doesn't block herself um, like the Sky Strike spells do, uh, it doesn't matter where she's summoned to, you still get engage back. And then at this point, what you can do is link these two away. For your sunlight wolf and yeah you can engage uh, you're free to engage again so engage before you summon any any other monsters out so that you can get say your widow anchor uh so yeah uh if your board gets cleared you do have widow anchor for protection or say if your board states at this point sorry we'll move that down so you say if your board states at this point you have your opponent has a monster that you can negate uh yeah you, you can store it now to help clear um, any disruptions they may have. And you just do your normal play with the Sunlight Wolf on the field. So you discard the your Spinny. Oh, so yeah, you activate Sanctuary, discard Spinny to Special Foxy, and then bring Spinny out, and you just make your normal uh, Salamay Great play after that. And if you draw, like I said earlier, if you draw this mid-game, uh, you will be getting the extra draw of it, and engage just goes even more insane. So yeah, uh... Like I said, um, I left the uh, link um, in the description below uh, with how to open up with um, strikers normally. But when you do open engage with the... Uh, 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 if you do open engage in your opening hand uh, with your normal Salman Great play, that's pretty much uh, what change needs to be happened. You just go onto your bay links, just don't summon any monsters yet so you can make uh, your Sky Striker play and get more cards out of your deck and more inter interruption. So yeah, if you guys have made it this far, again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, uh, leave a like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And I'll definitely see you guys next time. <laughs>